An Albuquerque woman is suing a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy claiming that he sped through a red light before he crashed into her and then lied about it while the Sheriff's Department allegedly covered it all up. News 13's Lizzie Mitri has the story. Dick, the deputy was in his BCSO patrol car and in uniform. Now, this federal lawsuit raises questions about why BCSO handled the investigation and why the deputy wasn't even cited. An off-duty Bernalillo County deputy in uniform driving his patrol car took down a light pole after smashing into the passenger side of Carol Nelson's car the night of January 31st. It happened as Nelson was making an illegal left turn from Eubank onto Constitution. She says the no left turn sign put up during construction was blocked from her view. Then she and three other witnesses say Deputy Antonio Vargas sped through a red light into the intersection. There was no emergency. Uh, he was not, didn't have his lights on, didn't have a siren on, uh, was just blasting through lights and uh, totally inappropriate. Also inappropriate, according to Nelson's lawyer, Anthony Ayala, the fact that BCSO was the agency to investigate the crash that involved one of its own. Vargas and his wife, who was driving behind him, told responding deputies the light was yellow when he drove into the intersection. A BCSO report lists speeding and disregarding a traffic signal on Vargas's part as factors in the crash, but Ayala says Vargas was never cited or punished in any way. Had Albuquerque Police Department investigated it, we, we were, were sure that a different outcome regarding the investigation, the initial investigation, would have occurred. That's why Nelson is suing. Ayala says Nelson injured her back and ankle in the crash and is also suffering from emotional distress. The county attorney wouldn't speak on camera but denies the allegations made against the Sheriff's Department and Vargas. Nelson's attorney says they're still waiting for the data from the black box in the deputy's car to see how fast he was going. The sheriff's department didn't want to comment on the lawsuit. Dick, back to you. All right, Lizay, the lawsuit also goes after the city, claiming that Ms. Nelson only made that illegal left turn because of the lack of signs in the construction zone.